It's certainly a major U-turn by the government. They just hadn't expected this kind of violent outrage in light of President Macron's carbon taxes. All along, he said that these were, helped, were to help fund renewable energy investment. But what they failed to recognize was that by doing so, they raised the price of diesel, petrol, and other fuels, which in some cases had gone up by 23%. They were raising the cost of living as well, the cost of working for millions of French people. And there was this immediate and violent backlash. Remember, these have been the worst riots in a generation. And as a result, finally today, the government suspended those taxes for six months. The Prime Minister saying that people's anger must be heard and that the measures would not be applied until there had been proper further debate. It had been hoped that these new taxes would raise $2.3 billion over the next six months, and the government is now saying that they will have to subsidize that through spending cuts. It is not clear, however, if this is going to stop the protests. There were smaller protests going on across France today, and the fact is that these have become about so much more than just those carbon taxes now. Students, ambulance drivers, teachers, even the riot police who are pushing back those protesters are now demanding more pay, more rest. Uh, Macron himself has a 23% um, popularity rate, and of course this has hit him certainly in a hard way. Remember, he campaigned on the promise that he would stop these kind of reforms, uh, that, that he would bring about these kind of reforms, that he wouldn't capitulate to the protesters. Well, he's now done just that, uh, and it remains to be seen if he can enact any of his hope uh, reforms in the days, years to come. Benjamin Hall from London for us this morning. Thank you.